Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, Truck Talk Tuesday, two weeks in a row. How about that? Hey, a lot of you guys were asking about some updates on the truck and what we're trying to do to purchase a second truck for the lawn and landscape business and also a little bit of personal use for the new truck. So it's been a very interesting last two weeks. Uh, I wanted to do an update video here last week, but we had our live event up here in Michigan where like almost 400 people came into town. It was a barn burner, so I didn't really have time to shoot a truck update video last week, but I wanted to go through a couple things here that I had for you guys uh, that I made a quick list for because a lot of good questions came in about what's going on with trucks, chips, transistors, and circuits, and all this other mess, appearance packages, pricing, price gouging. Uh, I got a lot of things written down here. We're going to go through this short and sweet, including a final update that I have where we did put in an order for a truck, but you guys will have no idea how long they quoted me to get it. And I'll tell you what we can actually do on the pricing instead of getting market adjusted by $20,000 like the last video. If you guys didn't see the first video, this is kind of a part two, maybe a follow-up. I'll leave a little card or end screen and you can check that out. Basically, we're in the market for a truck and we are coming up with slim pickings just like a lot of you guys are out there in the marketplace. So let me go through this really quick. Now, the very first thing that people are asking me is what are we shopping for? Uh, I was kind of elusive on the first video. Uh, everybody did end up sending me their guy, their sales guy, their friend, their brother, their broker. Everybody's got a guy that sells some vehicles and check this dealer, their volume dealer, check this dealer, they're a volume dealer. I super appreciate that. Uh, what I've come to find out is that everybody's a volume dealer and everybody's got allocation and that's just the, the, the skeeziness sometimes of car dealerships and car dealers and why I actually prefer Tesla and buying direct because they don't do what car dealers do. In fact, if I could buy a truck from Tesla and it was out or go through somebody that didn't have to go through a dealer, I would absolutely buy direct forever for the rest of my life. After buying a Tesla, not to sound pretentious as hell, but after buying a Tesla and literally going into the dealer, importing into my phone and driving off after sending one piece of paper, putting it in their Dropbox, are you freaking kidding me? I will never go to a dealer ever again if possible. Now, of course I have to buy a truck from Ford, which is fine, I like Ford product, but I absolutely hate going through a dealer, probably like a lot of you guys. All right, let me keep this going. So what are we looking for? Long story short, this is an F-250 Lariat. This was a little bit of a plus one. Do we need this for lawn and landscaping? Not really. To just recap, we're talking about XLs, XLTs. Uh, we're talking about gas trucks. These were already 50, 60,000 bucks just four years ago when I bought mine. Uh, we probably paid maybe $8,000 more than we needed to for a work truck out there. And by the way, something that's gonna run, be reliable and didn't have 200,000 miles, okay? So that's why I went with this truck. And it was actually a pretty good deal and it's worked out great for us. So what I wanted to do, was get something a little bit cooler, something a little bit more for me. I know we don't shop for business for cool factor, but look, I wanted to buy a nice truck for me. So I'm gonna use it for business, grow a second route, a second rig with myself, have these guys out here with the Mo crew, and we can bring in some more revenue, 20, 50, $75,000 easily if I just had another truck to take out me my utility trailer for landscape mulch uh the mulch force aerations all that kind of stuff right so here's the deal i'm looking for a uh f350 black appearance package uh with the godzilla v8 motor okay that is that 73 i don't want to do diesel i did a whole nother talk for uh for lengths and probably 20 minute long video Talking about why I don't want a diesel truck, we don't haul heavy, but I do plan to haul heavier. So I did want to go with a gas option, and that 7.3 is doing really, really well out there. I actually talked to my boy Jonathan with Florida Turf Pros down in Florida. He said it's so much more truck than you'd ever need, but it is an absolute monster. And I said, that's what I want. I want something that can eventually pull a camper or a fifth wheel as Liz and I start to have a kids and have a family here, right? And we wanna be able to haul a little bit heavier, maybe a, a Kubota tractor one day for our property, Polaris razors, all that kind of mess. Not that those are super heavy, but you guys know what I'm saying, okay? So, black appearance package F350, bigger axles and all that fun stuff. It's not gonna be a Brian's Law maintenance video without a jet or a train in the background. Uh, what I did need is the plow prep and specifically the camper prep package. Now, I told you guys on that last video that there was no trucks left in the Midwest, and when you do find a truck down south, none of them have the plow prep package, okay? Uh, so here's the deal. When I was talking about on the last video, I swear to God, every time I shoot a video, the trains are out. One day I'll have a shop and have soundproof insulated walls. I don't know what else to say, okay? So what happened was about three or four weeks ago now, three weeks ago, I found the exact F-350 black appearance, the 20s, it's cool, it's got the white cab lights, a little bit extra, I get it. I want a little bit of a fun truck here too. And uh, it was the exact truck down in Indiana. And that was the dealer that I called 
Uh, I'm not gonna give out the dealer's name, I don't wanna throw them under the bus, because I guess they're allowed to do that since it's inventory they own, right? So they were able to charge me $20,000 $20, over package, or I'm sorry, $20,000 over the base price that they had bought the truck from Ford for. So it was $69,000, and they wanted $89,000, and I, <laughs> I just didn't think that was ethical. A lot of you guys commented that that's pretty unethical. One, two, three grand, maybe a little over sticker. I kind of get it. A lot of you said people are doing that with the uh, Ford Broncos. I get it, but that's still super unethical, man. That's why I want to buy direct. Like Tesla's not going to jack up the price of their vehicles 15, 20 grand. They might do a price adjustment because things cost more money. In fact, I think they just did that on the Model Y. It's like five or $6,000 more, but that makes sense because the vehicles cost more money, right? We can all get that. How am I doing here on the camera? Sorry. All right, so here's what we're uh, looking for. And by the way, I wanted like the heated rear seats, um, nothing really fancy on any of the other packages, just the heated rear seats, I think the cab lights, the uh, universal garage door opener, like it was only like seven little extras. It wasn't like everything with the L uh, Lariat package and the uh, black appearance package, okay? So here's the last three weeks. So I find that dealer, uh, it was like on a Thursday, they, said there was nobody looking at the truck. I call up that morning at 10 a.m. and they said that nobody was looking at the truck. I call, I said, let me think about it. <clears throat> call back three hours later. I had to run the bye-bye baby for my wife, uh, for a baby. I call her a couple hours later and they jacked up the price by 20,000 bucks. By the way, a lot of you guys said they were allowed to do that, but what I thought was super unethical was that on the website it listed 69 grand. When I called up, they said it was 69 grand. When I was on Auto Trader, which is how I found the ad, it was 69 grand. And so it was very unethical as a bait and switch. And that dealer uh, down in Indiana, they suck, okay? That's, that's super unethical when the only reason they jacked up 20 grand was because they knew they had a buyer. Other than that, that vehicle had been sitting on the parking lot, for, for example, for many weeks by now, two or three weeks at least. And somebody said um, a great comment because the dealer goes, well, we used to be a volume dealer getting 400 vehicles a month. Now we're only getting 100 vehicles a month. So uh, we'll definitely get this price. And one of you guys made a great point. Well, maybe that's why the vehicle is still in the parking lot because you're not getting $90,000 for a Lariat truck. Somebody also said, uh, shame on me for bad timing, poor planning. I will give you some credit on that. Uh, I am. I was not expecting that vehicles were going to be three to six months out, which I'll get to with what my dealer told me, okay? I thought I could find something in six, eight weeks, something that's pretty reasonable as an end of your uh, tax deduction and purchase. So shame on me, I guess, a little bit for sure for thinking I could get a truck within two months. Whoa, like when has that ever been a thing in America where you had to wait longer than one, two, three weeks? And I'm not saying microwave mentality, I'm just saying We've always had a lot of abundance. A lot of you guys left some really good comments that got upvoted that I absolutely agree with, with a nice hashtag. Okay, here's where we're gonna go. These train horns are just awesome. Thumbs up for train horns, unbelievable. So here's the deal. Find that dealer on Thursday. I wanted the exact truck, they screwed me on the price. That following week, Monday, Tuesday, I shoot Truck Talk Tuesday video. My dealer, uh, a different dealer I'm going with than my folks because they didn't have allocation. I call them in, I say, hey, I need to put an order in. We end up putting an order in for the exact truck I wanted. He said it's gonna be, check this out, I want you guys to watch this. He said it's gonna be two to four months for that truck. I said, okay, well, maybe we'll get here by the end of the uh, December 30th in 2021. Probably, probably not, right? So no big deal. So that Tuesday, I do Truck Talk Tuesday, I order my truck, <clears throat> a couple days later, and I said in that video, don't send me any trucks, don't send me your guy. Everybody's got a guy, I got a guy, you got a guy, we all got a guy, they all pull from the same place. So thankfully a lot of you guys didn't, but a couple of y'all did, and actually one guy, Brian, shout out to Brian, did send me a truck that was exactly what I was looking for, but in red. It was the exact truck that I have behind me in a 350 with the plow prep, it was down south, it was in North Carolina. So I'm like, really? And it was 72 gram, which the truck would have been 69, but he put the needle ridge grapplers on there and a tunnel cover, uh, a rolling one. So it was kind of worth 71 to 72 gram. Long story short, call this guy up. I put it, this is a crazy line of events, right? This is why I'm not hastily trying to buy a truck, but I thought this was the one, and I thought the next truck was the one, and some of you guys know that like, you gotta jump on these opportunities, right? So I call that guy Friday at like uh, in the morning. I put a deposit down on the truck. It's exactly what I want. It's a private sale. The guy's having a baby. He has to get out from underneath it. The truck had literally 800 miles. My exact F-350 Lariat, <clears throat> heavier duty axles, the 7.3 Godzilla, exactly my truck with what I was looking for, obviously not the blackout appearance package. So Friday, I call up my dealer, cancel my truck order. 
I found my truck. I told the guy, hey, the banks are closed over the weekend. I'm gonna finance this thing, get 199 on 72, keep my cash, put 20 down. That was the goal, right? I canceled my truck order on Friday. Saturday night at about 8 p.m. at night, I'm tooling around on Auto Trader, find the exact blackout parents truck again. The snowplow prep package with the camper package, the Godzilla motor, the white cab lights, the universal off switch, the garage door opener, all this other mess, right? Like, it's the exact truck I want in New Hampshire and it doesn't say sold or pending or transferring and all that mess, right? So I called, or I shoot a little inquiry thing to them. Uh, please get back with me as soon as possible. It was like 69 and change or something like that. Well, Sunday night, like 10 o'clock at night, somebody must have been clearing out their emails because the little chat feature thing starts hitting me back on email. So I'm going back and forth with them. I'm serious, I'm interested, I'll buy it Monday. They let me know that there's a deposit down on that truck. And I was so frustrated because it's um, uh, about an hour north of uh, uh, Rhode Island in New Hampshire where I'm going to visit friends this upcoming Friday and I was like dude we could fly in my friends can get the truck bring it to their house we could drive it all the way back home like your mind starts playing these awesome games of justifying the purchase right so what happens is uh, I find out Monday that that truck is not available I actually canceled the order with the red truck with the guy down south because I wanted to actually get my cool black truck because, look, I'm just gonna be real with you. I went to the snowmobile show up here in Michigan, first time ever, on Friday night. Checked out the whole snowmobile show, it was awesome. Everybody there is pulling with trucks. It's my, my people, right? It's you guys, it's me. It's We're just having a great time. Uh, Liz did not go. She's like, I don't wanna go look at stupid snowmobiles. I get it. But I got some land now and I'm like, hey, I got land and I want to go finance a snowmobile or buy a snowmobile, right? Um, I don't know. If, what's a good snowmobile? Somebody leave me a comment down below. So I go up there and as I'm literally walking out at 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, I walk right by like two cars next down to mine, a blacked out F-350 with the appearance package, the LEDs and all this mess. And I'm like, dude, that's a freaking cool truck. Like that's the truck that I want. Now I know business and XL and XLT, you know, WT, I get it it's a little bit more of a truck for me as well as for the business, okay? So it's something cool, I've worked hard, I wanna get something nice. I'm just gonna lay that out there, why not? So I was really bummed by getting the red one potentially, so I canceled the guy on Monday. I actually PayPal'd the dude $500 deposit that Friday. He was actually really cool. He said, no big deal, my tr uh, dealer that I bought it from is offering to buy it back from me for what I paid for it. He's kind of in a good position. He PayPal's me my $500 deposit back and says, no big deal. Uh, about two hours later, my dealer that I kind of did a, a douche move, <sighs> calls me back uh, about 11 a.m. on Monday and says, hey, your sales rep guy to be, <clears throat> he has actually been out for a week or so uh, he never got your voicemails on Friday and Saturday. Your truck order is still in the queue. Uh, no big deal, we still got the order in. I'm like, what up, no, awesome. So I, I didn't get the truck in Indiana, I didn't get the truck in New Hampshire, I didn't get the truck in uh, North Carolina. Then the guy, here's what he tells me, he goes, hey, just so you know, this is really funny, he goes, just so you know, that black appearance package, it's gonna be an extra two months delayed. And I'm like, come on, bro, Like, what? now what? It's two to four months before, how long is it gonna be? He goes, well, it could be four to six months because the spray-in bed liner is part of the blackout edition or black appearance package, and they don't have the chemicals to put that in the bed liners for Ford. The, the Q or their software and their projections say it's gonna be four to six months. And I went, okay, so just don't ship me the truck with the, the bed liner, right? I'll go get it at Line X which I have in my current truck and I love it. And uh, he goes, well, that's not exactly how it works. It's an all or nothing deal. I said, awesome. So send me the truck and just keep the $500 for the stupid package. He laughed, I laughed. He goes, it's not how it works. I said, okay, well credit me 500 bucks. And I'm just trying to do what you guys do probably too. Hustle, I'm like, yo, just give me the truck. Don't worry about the, the bed liner, we'll figure it out. And he goes, it's not how it works. So anyway, Long story short, four to six months now in the queue for the truck. Now, I'm praying it comes in earlier. A lot of you guys said that you put in trucks and they said four, six, eight months and they came six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, two, three months. We'll find out if that's the truth, right? Um, this is really interesting in America. Like, and I'm not microwave mentality, I'm nothing like that. I'm just saying we usually have abundance. We usually have prosperity. We usually have things going on. And the last nine months, it's like somebody or something pulled the e-brake. And you guys can read into that as much as you want. You already get what I'm trying to say. Last thing I'll say too, the catalyst for this whole conversation was, 
I was trying to get this boss, I'm sorry, Western MVP three, uh, stainless steel plow that we won from a giveaway from another uh, big snow contractor in the area, Troy Clog. What up, no, must have known I'm shooting a video. So I won the snow plow, that was the catalyst to get a second truck, which is what we were looking to do was get another truck and a plow. So I win this 10 grand plow and I'm like, well, I'll give it away, I'll keep it, I don't know what to do. So I decided to keep it. Well, if I can't find a truck anyway and I can't figure this all out, the guy that I won the plow from, the main company, Douglas Dynamics, they make Western, he said, well, there's no real rush to redeem it. Um, do whatever you wanna do. So there's actually another guy named Zach Wildy. Maybe Zach watches this video, but uh, he's a friend on the channel. And uh, we, we were at a live event over the weekend in short story long. I'm not looking for any attaboys, I'm just saying. I gifted him the plow on stage. I just said, hey dude, you're getting the, you wanna get into plowing, you wanted a truck, uh, you got a truck. Um, you said it, you know, his mom was affected by breast cancer, it sounded like. So I just said, dude, just take the plow, take it off my mind, I'm building a house, I got a bunch of other crap going on. You can make money with this thing now, take it, it's all yours, and so that's the full circle of the plow. And the realistic answer to that as well is that my local dealer sells boss. And I don't wanna be a hypocrite and say like, hey, go with the stuff that's local to you that can support you while I go get a different brand that's 45 minutes away, which is where the nearest Western dealer is, right? So that's where I just said, you know what? I'm a boss guy, I use a lot of boss equipment. My dealer down the road for my lawn and landscape friends is Weingarts. Uh, they service boss, I wanna stick with boss, um, but at the same point, there's no rush on the plow, there's no rush on the, on the truck, so next year we'll get the blacked out truck and then probably buy a stainless steel boss 92 DXT, which Lord knows is gonna be 9,000 bucks. So anyway, Zach, if you're watching the video, hope that plow blesses you, man. Uh, we did decide to gift the plow. Uh, funny how that just came full circle. So anyway, that is the Truck Talk Tuesday update. When it's gonna come in, I have no freaking clue. It could be four to six months. I'd love to hear your guys' comments down below. If you guys were quoted a timeline for a truck, did it come in under or over? Because that's basically my last question. That's kind of where I'm at on this whole ordering process. The truck is in the queue, it's still in the queue. If you actually search for it on the internet, it'll come up as a pending, uh, as a dealer ordered truck, if you will. So that's my truck. If you look up black, uh, black appearance package F350 Lariat with the Godzilla motor, you'll see it ordered online. It's going to a area just west of me from Wixom Novi, Michigan. You guys can probably figure it all out. And uh, that's where I'm at. So there's my quick update for Truck Talk Tuesday, 18 minutes. Talk about some drama, trying to order a truck, amen? All right, well over now guys, that's what I got for you on today's videos. Big thumbs up if you guys appreciate it. And if you want to, leave some comments down below with uh, any other feedback you guys have on ordering a truck or whatnot, or if anybody happens to find a blacked out F-350 Godzilla Lariat, all that other mess, I don't wanna cancel my other order, but the guy's like, dude, we would have sold it in two seconds anyway. Um, so if anybody finds one between now and December 30th, holla at your boy because I'm trying to get a truck to go plow some snow and make that dough. All right guys, over now, Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. We will catch up with you guys on the next. Actually, so here's a blacked out version of the truck I'm talking about. Blackout badge, blackout rims, uh, pretty dope. Blackout grill, blackout bumper. He does not have the LEDs. So I think this might just be like the uh, blackout um, package that is like a the budget version but it's still a sweet truck the next level is with the uh the cab lights lariat ultimate and then the leds but that's basically the next truck we're going to be getting